But let's finally take on uh, Terran Tox's Tangled Web, which we still haven't done yet. Because we got distracted by the Prankster Comet, then we got distracted by uh, the Secret Star, so now we can actually do this. I'm also not going to worry about uh, the Star Bits for this first part. Actually, no, I will. I will. Again, it's good to have Star Bits, so I'll go ahead and collect them. I think for the future, though, I probably should just do the normal mission first before I do the secret mission. In some cases, it won't be that applicable because uh, they're accessed in different ways, but... I feel like it's good to know, like, which ones where I'll need to find, like, a Luma or something. And yeah, once you feed the Hungry Luma, you never have to feed it again, so... No matter what, that Luma is always going to be a launch star now. But we do not want to go that way. We want to go down here now. And actually do this mission properly now. Get some star bits in here. I know there's a few bushes and there's also a few rock formations too, so I'll make sure I hit those before I move on. Like, yeah, that is the way to go, but I don't think I'm going to go that way just yet. Where the hell is that? Like, I know there was a rock formation. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Quite literally under where the Hungry Luma was. But yeah, it's also a good way to kind of stock up on lives, too, so it's never bad to get extra star bits, whether you need them or not. Because, again, we'll need them for all those hungry Lumas later in the game. <clears throat> like, we've already gained back a lot of the star bits already. I think we have, like, more than what we had before we dealt with that one hungry Luma outside the uh, terrace, but... Uh, the star amount, the star bit amounts will be getting bigger as we get further in the game, so. When we paid 400 for that first one, we might be paying like 800 for the next one, basically. If that makes any sense. Which, we do have enough right now, but that'll keep building up, and then we have a Hungry Luma where you actually need like a thousand, so. Okay, so... I think we have to pull these things. Whee! <laughs> so yeah, this is another uh, kind of unique mechanic of this. You have to use the uh, sticky stuff to move yourself through the galaxy. Oh, come on, I spam into you. Thankfully, we have a health upgrade here, so that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, God, look at all those. Uh, can I just drop out of this? I don't think so. Okay, well, I missed eating a lot of star bits, but that's fine. Whoa, where am I going? <laughs> that was not a straight aim, Slim. My God, that was a terrible aim. Maybe I should have been more focused on what I was doing as worrying about, like, oh, when am I going to get those star bits? That's probably going to be a common thing that'll happen, me just more focused on star bits than the actual game. I'll try not to make a habit of that, but no promises. So here we have our next boss. Once we actually kind of break through his webby substance. Here is Terran Tox. He has a lot of glowing areas, and usually in the video game world that means that, oh, that could be his weak point, so... We're going to use that to our advantage and pop all of his bubbling green warts, boils, 
whatever you'd call those things, I don't know, but it's kind of disgusting. But welcome to video games, I guess. Okay, shoot. So now I gotta pop these two. Boom, boom. Oh no, I just popped one. I want to say you can pop multiple, but I don't know. Also, come on, Mario. There we go. <clears throat> now he wasn't too happy about that, and because of that I may not worry about his little boils. I might just focus on the big boil on the back. What? How did that not work? That should have worked, damn it. There we go. I guess it wasn't a direct hit, it was kind of a hit to the side, so it didn't count. Okay, now I guess you can't get all of them at once. Well, I mean, you can't get them all at once, but getting like more than one at one time. I really thought that was a thing, but maybe it wasn't. Okay, so there we go. That is that star. And in order to grab this, we just do the same thing we did before. Without aiming like an idiot. There we go. Okay, and that was Terran Tox's Tangled Web. His Tangled Web of Lies and Deceit and other sticky things of that nature. So with that, I think we can actually move on to the next planet, or galaxy, or whatever they're, whatever they're calling it these days. And yes, a hungry Luma has now appeared outside the fountain. Uh, once again, I think you need, uh, I think that's the one where you need 800, so... I could technically do that now, but I might do a little extra waiting just for I have more star bits. And we still have some other galaxies to go here, so... Uh, let's go ahead and actually do Rolling Green Galaxy, because it's here and we can get it out of the way. Plus, now it's getting to the point where I probably won't be able to do entire galaxies in one video. Because now, they went from having three stars to five stars, so... I'll, I, again, I'm going to take it by ear and just see what each video is going to end up being. So here's the another gimmick galaxy. Rolling green, and these are the rolling ball galaxies. So again, we will probably see this mechanic later on. Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you better listen to old billboard here. First, jump to get on top of the ball. Alright, you're on. Now hold the Wiimote straight up. Right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From that basic position, tilt the Wiimote to move the ball in that direction, then just press A to jump. If anything gets in your way, smoosh it. Anyway, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. So yes, this is basically balancing and rolling. Which, this is not really a hard mission, but once again, there'll be a harder version of this later on. So this is a mechanic slash gimmick that will definitely be back later. But for now, let's just have some good old fun. And again, take it easy. There's no reason for you to try to make go this as fast as possible. We're not doing speedruns here. We're just trying to have a good time. Even though all the star bits are tempting for me right now, I'm not going to go after them if I think they're going to lead to my doom and demise. Although I'm still trying for them anyway, so that really says a lot about my self-control. I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, in some cases that stuff is tempting, but in that case, no. Definitely not. 
And there we go, that's pretty much that galaxy. Very short and sweet, but again, we'll be having uh, this mechanic later on, so... Don't worry, it'll be back. It'll be back someday. I also love how you have to do the handstand on a flagpole like in Super Mario 64. Kind of cool that they brought that back. Okay, so what do we got next? Galaxy complete, perfect. What do we got next? We have... Right, we're going to move on to Battle Rock Galaxy. I think for this recording session, I'm probably just going to make it to the end of this dome. Like, I don't think I'm even going to do the other galaxy as well. And then I'll just start the next session and just start the next session at the third dome. So, I think that'll be a good plan. So here we have Battle Rock Galaxy. We have Battle Rock Barrage for the first star. Uh, this galaxy is pretty cool. It's pretty epic. I love the music that you actually hear on this stage. It's just a really good theme. It kind of has an epic theme to it, so... Or an epic sound to it. It's just very, very appropriate. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm trying to get at here. But I'm sure we'll definitely have some good times here. But I think we'll also have some bad times here, because uh, there is something very specific I remember about this galaxy that is very notorious in this game. I'll just leave it at that. Who knows, we may, we may not have that much of an issue with it, but we may actually, I don't know. It, it's, it's too soon to tell, because it's... Uh, Still very early in the project, and I'm still still kind of trying to get used to the mechanics a little bit. It is kind of starting to warm up to me a little more, and I'm like starting to remember, oh yeah, this is why I love this game so much. But uh, at the same time, though, you, you can never be too careful. Okay, so let's follow the blue pole stars and see what they will actually take us to. Hello, spring thing. And yeah, you can find a lot of star bits, like, just in the background on this level, so definitely, definitely keep your pointer moving. You'll never know when you'll find some goodies that you can use. That's kind of cool how the giant coin can just turn all these cannonballs into star bits, too. Power Star trapped. However, will we be able to do this? Oh, I think I know what we need to do. See on the background there, we have our good friend, the Bullet Bills. They're kind of back to do their thing. Like they did in uh, Mega Leg Galaxy. I'm actually curious to see what that spring will do. So let me do this first. I think it's just for. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, I guess the trick is you actually want to spin as soon as you're hitting the block. That'll cause, like, all the star bits to come out immediately. I think I kind of screwed up that ex explanation earlier, but, uh... Again, you have to have, like, very strict timing, I feel like. Okay, hold on. Follow me. Pull with Bill. You see the star right here? I want it. I want this star, and you will give it to me. By any means necessary. That is the first star for Battle Rock, making pretty good progress already, honestly. Honestly, you have a good start going. And yay, we unlocked the other galaxy here too. I'm almost tempted to do that one right now, but I'll save it till I'm finished with Battle Rock. So I can just finish up the rest of this. Okay, so next we're going to go back to Battle Rock again, and see what we can get this time. This time we have Breaking into the Battle Rock, so we're going to go inside the giant Battle Rock this time. Which sounds like a good idea to me. After we grab some star bits, of course. <laughs> seriously, why wouldn't you? So now we don't have bullet bills, but we do have bob bombs that pretty much act like bullet bills. You kind of use them in the same way. You can blow up these glass containers, grab some easy star bits. we can explode doesn't seem like it okay let us move on then okay so now we have a oh wait we have a hungry luma Ooh. I'm going to bet that hungry luma wants a lot of star bits though so let's see hey you yeah you got any I need to stop reading that. It's the same dialogue every single time. Oh, you only need 30? Okay, that's actually not too bad. I'll go ahead and do this now. But yeah, you can get a lot of star bits on this island right here because you can just... Once you find the rainbow star, you can just very easily kill all of the chain chomps, no problem. But we're going to go ahead and go over here. And this is actually what I was talking about before. This is the very notorious trash cleaning minigame. This is the ammo depot, not a garbage dump. What do people think they can just toss their trash here and it'll magically disappear? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all the trash. So here we go, this is a little mini game you have to play, and this game is actually very strict with how you go about doing it, because you have to tr basically try to get as much trash as possible with as many bombs as possible. But the problem is the bombs actually kind of take a bit to blow up and respawn, so you have to be very quick and uh, clever with how you use the bombs. Thankfully, that was a very clean run, so I actually did that very easily, but there is a second version of this game at a later date and time, which could be absolutely terrible to do, but uh, that went pretty well, actually. I'm actually surprised that I didn't actually need any extra bombs. Uh, who knew that bombs work so well as an industrial strength cleaner? Thanks, I owe you big. Oh, I know. Take this. I just found it lying around. Maybe it'll help you. 
So yeah, that is the secret star of Battle Rock, and again, we'll be seeing this same minigame later on. I'm actually really surprised it only took me one try. You have to, like, really know, like, the angles of how far you throw the bombs. You also have to kind of keep their blast radius in mind, too, because sometimes you may be able to get, like, a few extra trash piles that you're unaware of, so you have to keep all that stuff in mind. But yeah, that's going to do it for that secret star, so let's move back to Battle Rock again. Uh, we are actually at the uh, two and a half hour mark I talked about, but like I said, I think I'll go ahead and uh, just record the rest of World 2, because we did have a lot of uh, beginning cutscene stuff to deal with. So I just want to make sure I'm making a, enough progress here. Which I should be, I shouldn't really be worrying about it so much, but... You guys know me, I... I have a perfectionist curse when it comes to my videos and stuff of that nature. I want to make sure I'm making enough progress. And, you know, when I play video games, I have fun playing video games, so I tend to do a little extra than what I necessarily need. I wanted to record about two weeks, but this way I'm recording like uh, two weeks in a day worth of content, which is which is pretty good. God, though, just imagine me doing this game back in the day when I had like an 11-minute time limit. This project would have taken forever if that was the case. But the way it's going right now, I feel like this is going to take like. Uh, I don't know, maybe around, like, 30-ish parts, maybe a little closer to 40, something like that anyway. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab a lot of star bits here, because like we found earlier, Rainbow Mario absolutely destroys these guys. Did I get all of them? Okay, not quite. I think that's all of them, though. So yeah, if you didn't get enough star bits coming to this place, you could actually grind off those guys to get the Hungry Luma, but thankfully, that is not something I have to worry about. So now, let's go all the way over here and free our good old Luma friend. I wish there was an easy way you could actually set off the bombs. Maybe you can throw a star bit at them, but I don't want to waste star bits on stuff like that if I don't need to. Phew, that was scary. That's my way of thanking you for the help. I'll make a shortcut for you. Transform! I love a good shortcut. Maybe you could have actually gotten that without the Luma. Maybe. If you're clever enough, anyway. Oh, but it looks like we have more pole star shenanigans now. This time we have to be a little more careful because we are dealing with, uh... Actually, I want to see if I can grab that one up. But yeah, this is basically how you can... I guess kind of manipulate yourself through, like, pull stars and stuff like this. I didn't do the best job right there, but it's fine. I'm not trying to impress anybody, I'm just trying to play the game. <laughs> so now I think we're gonna break into the Battle Rock, like the uh, mission title suggests. That sounds like a good idea to me. Before I do, let's see what's inside this pipe. Eh? Okay, I was just taking us to the lower level. I feel like it wasn't supposed to do that, though. Or I missed out on getting some star bits or something. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. But basically, for this, what you have to do is you have to aim the cannon up at the chunk of metal. And break it so you can get the power star.
but we're not done yet. I guess that wasn't a power star, that was just a launch star, but still. We fired something to get a star. Maybe not the type of star we were trying to get, but it is what it is. Oh, that's great. We actually got the one-up and we got the cannon open, too. Okay, here's where you really have to aim. Wait for the gates to go away, then fire! Woo! Alright. Perfect. That takes care of Battle Rock Star number two, and now we're going to take care of number three, and I believe we get the uh, Daredevil Comet ap after we beat Mission 3. If I remember correctly. Because it's a very special type of Daredevil Comet. As we'll find out shortly. But first, we gotta beat this mission, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> 